y'all, it's DMC to K-I-N-G. I'm going to say this once, I ain't going to say it again. DMC and the place to be and the place for you to be is right here with Fred Wright. Tales from the pen. <laughs> Slow people, we back. Fred White, Tales from the Pen. If you're new to the channel, go down and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification. And make sure the bell is shared in this way. Anytime I post a video, you will know about it. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about a serious topic. This is Piper Lewis. At 15, Piper Lewis was arrested for the murder of her sexual assailant, of one of her rapists. At 15, she was arrested for murder. Yeah. Let's rewind though a little bit and talk a little bit about Piper Lewis. So Piper Lewis was in and out of foster care since she was three years old. Not sure what happened to her parents, just know at three years old she was in and out of foster care. Anybody that's been in the foster care system know that every once in a while you get a nice one. But most of the time, the foster care parents, a lot of them, are just there for the money. You'll have some that will actually care for the kids because it's in them, but most people are just in it for the money and the kids get lost in translation. So she was in and out of, since she was three years old, foster care, foster care system, being abused everywhere she went. Mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, everything. Her whole life. So she decided that she was tired of the foster care system and she just decided to live on the streets as a teenager. She would sleep in cars, she would sleep in alleys, she would sleep wherever she could. One day she ran into a 28 year old man who took her in, <clears throat> then started raping her, and then started pimping her out. The sex traffic industry is real in the United States period. And this is in Iowa. Wait, what? Iowa? Who the? Right, it can happen anywhere. So he started pimping her out, started, you know, for, for, for his own uh, for his own profits. You know, and she was being abused. He brought her to a house one night, put the knife to her throat, and told her to go in there with these men, and you know, until he come back and get her. At fifteen, she went into this house, and the men paid fifty dollars in weed for her. $50 in weed. So her pimp passed her, passed her off, passed her off to a man named Zachary Brooks, 37 years old, from Iowa. Zachary Brooks got her drunk, got her naked, and she passed out. But Zachary wasn't in there by himself, he was with two others, so it was three of them. When she woke up, Mr. Brooks was, ra was raping her and sexually abused her throughout the night. Eventually, when he fell asleep, she gathered her clothes quietly, and instead of leaving or just trying to get out, she saw a knife. She picked the knife up, <clears throat> and she stabbed him 30 times while he slept, and he killed him. <clears throat> Originally, they charged her at 15 years old. She was 15, little girl, abused, running the streets her whole life. Failed. The system failed her. Families failed her. People failed her. How could she have any, any, you know, love for people when she's always just been abused? She's probably so desensitized. Anyway, she was arrested at 15 for this murder. That the prosecution called it a murder. The prosecution said, well, she should have just left and not killed the, the rapist. She should have just left. And a lot of people agreed with her, agreed with the prosecution. And a lot of the pundits were like, well, she was 15, she can make her own decisions, and you know, she should have just left. And if you're one of them people who feel that way, if you're one of them pundits who feel that way, I need you to do me a favor. Go down, unsubscribe, fuck up off my channel. Beat it. That's what I'm saying. If you're one of those people who feel that way, this little girl was tortured, man because the original guy was pimping her out, abusing her, letting men rape her, doing stuff that she didn't want to do. Now, some people may say, why didn't she just, it doesn't work like that when you're, you know, you've never been abused.
Those people who are saying that never been abused and never been through anything traumatic in their life. Sometimes that happens, man. She felt she had nowhere else to go. This man was giving her a place to stay. She's been sleeping in streets. She's been sleeping in dirt alleys. She's been abused out on the streets. So the judge in Iowa, they worked out some type of plea deal where she got like a five year to a facility, but the facility was like a work release-ish program where she could go out, she had a GPS monitor, they would monitor her like on parole, probation type center. It was one of those type things. And also, she was ordered because Iowa has a law that if you uh, are convicted of killing somebody, that you pay $150,000 to the victim. So she had to pay $150,000 to the rapist family. Crazy. The only good thing was GoFundMe. This became a big story. And GoFundMe came up, you know, they came up with a fifty, five hundred thousand dollars half a mil. So they, they paid that $150,000 to that victim's family. I just can't even get over that. And, um... You know, supposedly there was some leftover money. So, we'll see what happens. But here's the thing, people. First of all, we already understand the system failed her, man. You know, this girl knows nothing but horrors and, and, and the bad of life. This young girl, who's now 18, people, doesn't know the good of life. She never experienced the good. You know what I mean? She never experienced happiness and on the in on, on the stand in court she told her story and the, even the judge was like you listen you have a powerful story you can use this to help other people and that's what she, that's what her eventual goal was that's her eventual goal miss piper lewis i tell you what miss piper lewis we got love for you over here in new york city also, people, let me let you on a little secret. Miss Piper Lewis escaped the facility yesterday. Yeah, she cut off her ankle monitor, and she's officially on the FBI, one of the FBI's wanted list. She escaped the prison yesterday. All I can say to you, Miss Piper Lewis, is if you're watching this, first of all, subscribe and like. And number two is, you go, girl. Run. Run like the wind. Yeah. Peace, people.